Coach Jason Zerman joins us today to talk to Emory men's basketball. Coach, you guys are back in action this weekend, Friday at uh, Case Western, followed by a Sunday game against Carnegie. Yeah, road in the UAA. It's uh, always a challenge, and uh, we have veterans on our team. Uh, some seniors have been through it. Some juniors have been through the, the road um, travels, and we think we have a pretty good routine on the road, and uh, we're looking forward to continuing that. Looking at the game, uh, games this weekend, yeah, a couple of coaches at the opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, Todd McGinnis in his first year. Uh, as head coach at Case Western, and then you have Tony Wingen at Carnegie for his 27th year. Yeah, you know, Todd has been in the league before as an assistant, so he knows the league well. Um, he's taken over for Sean and did a good, did a good job at Case, and uh, I'm sure Todd will do a good job as well. Um, Tony, uh, like a lot of coaches in our league, it's a great league to coach in. Uh, it's competitive. It's uh, You get great experience with, with the student-athletes, and, and Tony's uh, enjoyed that for a period, a good run. Uh, I think he just got his 300th win at, at Carnegie, I, I believe, last weekend. So uh, he does a good job with that program. Uh, take a look at this Case team on Friday. Uh, and obviously, you've had a chance to look at them a little bit. What can you tell us about them? Yeah, you know, they have uh, some uh, bigs. Uh, they're inside the interior presence. Uh, the, the twins, T.J. Duckett, very, very talented. Um, we're going to have to be able to finish over top of them and stop them from getting the ball inside. And Alvarez, their point guard, is very good uh, at getting them set in their offenses and, and going the ball where it needs to go. And then they got some good shooters as well with Zucker and, and Hanson. So um, it's going to be a challenge for us, as every game is in our league. Uh, they have good players, and uh, they do what they do very well. Uh, and looking at Emory, uh, split this past weekend. Uh, Dropped a uh, game to Chicago uh, to Wash U rather, and then came back Sunday uh, with a solid effort against Chicago. Yeah, you know, I thought we had a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of uh, carryover from our Rochester trip, uh, just offensively, uh, not real confident in what we did offensively, and uh, weren't cutting real hard and weren't running real hard. And, <clears throat> and we, we talked about that on Saturday. I thought we did a much better job of that on Sunday. Um, and, and both of those teams are very very talented. They're having good years and. We were excited to get a win uh, out of the weekend and uh, to move forward. What was the uh, most positive, uh, other than the win on Sunday, what would be the most positive thing you took out of the weekend? Yeah, I think the growth between Friday and Sunday. Like, it, you know, We discussed some things on Saturday, and to see that carry over into our game on Sunday. Um, as a coach, it's always, it always gives you comfort to know that when you talk about something, you can improve on it. And, and so... Uh, we, you do it on a one-day prep. We showed film. We walked through some stuff. But I thought we really uh, were focused and, and improved and intent. Our intent was very well uh, well received on Sunday uh, to get better at the things we talked about. And uh, if we can continue to do that, we're going to have a good year. All right, Coach. Well, thanks very much for your time. We'll let you get back to work. Uh, good luck this weekend, and we will catch up with you uh, next week. Thanks, Sean.